Hello, in this video, I'll be sharing with you what's new with production analytics. So the, the first thing I'd like to point out is when you go to the machine navigator and uh, you navigate through, the um, we've updated the, um, you see production runs here. Uh, this information is, um, is all comparing to baseline. So you know when there's, um, uh, you know how your, uh, your job is compared to, uh, let's, let's look at like the last seven days, uh, recording this on a weekend. So there isn't much data there. So here you can see. Um, so this uh, particular machine, we ran two different uh, work orders. And uh, you can see that this one here, uh, we have, um, uh, we're, we're running about uh, six percentage points below our OEE baseline and uh, 37 seconds slower than our expected time. Uh, yet we're, we're, 18 seconds faster than baselines. That's that means that your your expected time or standard could probably use updating, but we're actually running pretty well compared to uh, standard for cycle time. Although uh, we can dive into OEE because it looks like our availability is low. Uh, that's what's driving our our OEE baseline low. Uh, then we can drill in just by clicking here, and that'll, that'll take you to production analytics, uh, right to that run where you can uh, drill in even more. Uh, you can go through all the features that we've that we've included here. But I want to take a different flow. So, um, you know, back to, uh, back to sort of the main page, uh, you can access production analytics by going to clicking production here and analytics. And this brings you to a landing page where you can decide, well, what you need to achieve. And, you know, in this case, I'd like to, I'd like to see how my, uh, production runs or my work orders that completed this past week, how they performed. Uh, now we've split this up into, you can look at it based on cycle times or OEE. Uh, we can also look at in progress. So if you want to see how our in progress runs are, are going by cycle times, you can do that, or just look at a specific um, part operation. Like if I wanted to quote a, um, a new job, I can go here. Uh, I'll show you really quick. You could just, you could just pick a, or search for uh, a part and that'll give you data so you can uh, help in your quoting process. But right now let's, uh, let's go into um, completed work. Let's look at uh, this week. And what this does is it compares, uh, it looks at a few things. It looks at, cycle times that are running slower than your standard or expected, the ones that are faster and it sorts them. So you know the ones at the top are the biggest offenders or you know, in both directions, right? So in this case, I can see that this particular work order, it, um, it ran 52 minutes cycle time. That's seven minutes slower than standard. Whereas here I'm running 10 minutes or three minutes faster than standard. Uh, and then down here, we're actually comparing to baseline. So we look at our baselines, look at the last, uh, 20 runs and, and essentially compares the current run with uh, with those last 20. So here I can see this one, a different one. Uh, we're running nine minutes slower than baseline for cycle time. And, uh, and here we're running three minutes faster. So this allows you to drill in. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This is a pretty big offender for a cycle time standard. And uh, we can see we ran 104 parts. Uh, we have um, our OEE is 16% where typically we run at 30% or, well, you can see here we've baselined this machine, but we've also baselined on all machines. This ran on three different machines. So if you want to look at the difference, perhaps uh, the machine that you're running on and is performing different than the other machines, you can see that here. Uh, and then um, you know I can see that my my biggest I, both, I have an issue both in availability and performance here. Uh, that's what's driving my OEE down. Uh, but really, we we came in here because of cycle times, and we saw that we're running seven minutes slower and um, than expected. Uh, we're also running five minutes slower. Than um, than our um, than the the ideal, which is based on active time. Uh, so I can I can see now if I look at this machine, um, I'm actually running a little bit faster. Uh, but with this compares to all machines, and that's one of the reasons why this is a little bit slower is because we are baselining across all machines. Now let's let's look at the other features here. So if you want to dive in a little bit more deeply with cycles, you want to kind of really see what's going on with our cycle times like touch times in particular, um, there can be a lot of variance here. I can look at it based on a pie or histogram. Uh, I can see I've got a bunch of uh, slow touch times here. And if I look at the part cycles, I can even like take a look at these touch times that are pretty long, you know? So I, by clicking here, I can see, you know, what those, uh, what that actually looks like on a timeline. And then if I want click here, this will take us to the, to the full timeline. I can really, um, you know, look at the parts, the, the uh, operation mode, all, all those are, are available there. So moving on, uh, we have the ability to look at our downtime Pareto. So I can see where the downtimes are coming from. Um, these are, uh, this would be either manually um, uh, entered in or also, or automated through auto downtime. 
but also we can view our alarms. Um, as I see, I have an over travel alarm. Uh, it looks like about three hours here. That's my biggest offender. That might be part of my um, my downtime issues. Uh, and then also cost. So um, I'm running this. Uh, my burden rate here is $200 an hour. That can come right from the ERP. Uh, I can see that I had a potential of $7,000 for this work order if we were just to operate at, operate at baseline OE. So this gives me the idea of how much um, the uh, the loss was just because we're not operating at baseline. And uh, now if I were at 100% OE, which is impossible, um, 46,000, that would be the difference here. So this is the, the, the realistic number we can achieve based on baseline. This is the um, uh, this would be the total loss from OE. Um, this also dives into you know, splitting up your cycle time so you can see you know, where you're, you know, how much money you're spending for, you know, each part of your cycle time, your active touch time in total, um, and also for your setups. And, um, and I can see my biggest OE losses are both in availability and performance. Um, finally, tooling uh, could be interesting if you want to dive in a little bit deeper. This will go into like where, um, how long each tool has been active. Um, this is useful to know like which, which tool you should really focus on for, for monitoring. Uh, we've got more coming with, with tooling analytics, but this is a you know this is a, a good report for that. Okay, so if you click operation summary or this button here or this here, this will take you to the essentially the view of all of the production runs, work orders that you've run. And uh, what's nice is is you have a summary that kind of tells you that you know this ran twenty three times across three machines. Uh, with uh, you can see we had uh, twenty nine percent OEE, where our cycle time is. Um, it's 53 minutes. Um, we're about, um, this is at 18% eight, slower than expected. Uh, we're, um, we're running our setup time at 13 hours, which is 44% slower than expected. So um, this is highlighted. You might want to take a look at the setup. But um, down below, which is a really interesting chart that, that shows visually how each work order, like what the cycle time was for each work order. I can look at part-time. I can look at active part-time or touch time, a lot of variance in touch time here. And uh, this, all this data is also below. And I can click here to go back to that run where I was, was before, but it really gives you a great view of history. And you can see you know, how you've run in the past. Now, to summarize that, we've also um, looked at this by machine for OEE uh, and for cycles. So I could see, for example, on these three machines, I'm running on H78, H88, 45 minutes. I'm, I'm quite a bit slower in H79. So if I'm running a new job, I might not want to pick H79. Um, it looks like um, this is generally runs a bit slower. If I look at OE, it also OE is a bit is a bit off. So so that that really um, helps me decide where I'd want to run this job in the future. Uh, and then I can also look at all my downtime. And the downtime this looks at all of the runs. So what was it? Um, over 20 runs. I could see where my uh, my biggest downtime is coming from. Uh, but also uh, we have alarms, and uh, this what this does is this is going to accumulate all the all the alarms from all the runs and give you that Pareto chart, so you can really see where like I've got this um, this auto door total time over. Um, this is causing sixty three hours of downtime. Okay, so this um, this really is where I should be looking to try to help my availability here, and uh, so that uh, I can also look at this uh, over time. This is a daily trend. I can see where some of these uh, alarms occurred. It might look better if I look at that weekly. And uh, and it just gives me sort of a better idea of when these alarms were. So, you know, if there's a trend where you see an alarm is happening more and more, you can you should be able to view that here. Um, okay, well, that's one aspect. I want to show one more thing in this landing page here. Um, if you can go click analytics or clear those filters. And um, we looked at the cycle times. Uh, we can also look at um, completed work by OEE. So let's look again at this week. And um, this is giving me just a quick list of, you know, these are the, the work orders that had the worst OEE, the best OEE, and it's actually calculating a baseline. Uh, again, just like cycle times, but if you want to be a little bit broader, OEE factors in the uh, your availability, your quality, and your performance, which is tightly aligned to cycle time. So I can see here where I have um, you know, a pretty bad uh, OEE, uh, and that's uh, 58 points below our baseline. So I could drill into here, and very similarly, I have the data to really back up and understand what went wrong in this run. And you know, we also have the ability to look at um, 
uh, in progress. So if you have uh, in progress work orders, uh, same thing, same data, we can show that here. Uh, and um, and really give you the the data and the tools to help identify where these issues are coming from, where do you need to focus, where do you need to update standards, you know how to improve quoting, um, all of that is uh, really at your fingertips with production analytics.